Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be breaking down one of the weakest Ninjago plot twists of all time. That of course being the big reveal that Dr. Saunders was secretly Crux the entire time. Now, what about this do I think is so weak compared to some other plot twists that we've seen throughout Ninjago's run? Well, Ninjago has been introducing several plot twists and turns throughout its entirety and this one appears to be a little bit weak and I think that's just because of the overall setup. I think that with the big reveal of Dr. Saunders being Crux, it could have come at a later time, I feel. I feel like Crux should have been built up more as Dr. Saunders before his big reveal that, of course, he was one of the Time Twins the entire time. Because when you look back at how Dr. Saunders was introduced, he really wasn't that prevalent of a character, especially during his big reveal. He was first introduced in Day of the Departed as just a museum curator and nothing more. He was just a random dude that just worked at the museum, and he definitely appeared to be a little off. Something was wrong with him, but a lot of us just kind of dismissed it as him just being straight up crazy. But but no, he actually was secretly a villain this entire time. But I can't help but feel like the emotional impact would have been greater if we actually cared about Dr. Saunders. And I think that's the big thing here. Dr. Saunders was never a character that we really specifically cared about. At least I know I didn't. I can't really speak for the rest of the community. But Dr. Saunders, I never felt like we got a chance to know him. He was only in Day of the Departed before he was revealed to be Crux in the first episode of Hands of Time. And yeah, it definitely doesn't seem like that big of a reveal when you don't really know the character. If we had seen Dr. Saunders for a couple of seasons prior, or if Dr. Saunders would have been revealed to be Crux at a later date, then we totally could have had this work, actually, because we would have felt for Dr. Saunders. We would have actually been somewhat emotionally impacted by this big reveal that he was indeed a villain this entire time. That would be like someone nowadays, like imagine if Clutch Powers turned out to be a villain or whatever in the current spring of Ninjago. That'd just be crazy because Clutch Powers we've known as a character for several seasons now, and him being a villain, for example, would have a much greater impact on us as opposed to just this random dude who just works at a museum that we really don't see that much of. Dr. Saunders I think was introduced at a really awkward time. I don't really feel like his introduction was intended to be that quick. I feel like things were originally a lot more planned out but due to the release dates shifting around for a couple of Ninjago projects around the time that Hands of Time came out, I think that's what ultimately led to this reveal not being as exciting as I think it could have been. If Day of the Departed was a season instead of a special and if Dr. Saunders was a key character in that still but we actually got to know him during that season, I think it's safe to say that the big reveal that he was Crux would have hit us a lot harder. Instead, it just kind of feels like, oh, well, there goes Dr. Saunders. It's not like we really cared much anyway. I don't know, just kind of feels like a very underwhelming reveal, and there are definitely better plot to us throughout Ninjago as well. Like I said, we are currently keeping up with Hands of Time right now for my live stream, so if you guys want to check that out, feel free to do so. All of those streams are up on the channel, just in case you guys wanted to watch any of those and hear a little bit more regarding my thoughts as to what Hands of Time is as a season. In general, I feel like plot twists can be done a lot better throughout Ninjago. We've seen them done a lot better throughout Ninjago, and this one is just kind of a meh plot twist. Not super great in my opinion, but who knows? Maybe you guys will think differently. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. Do you feel like the big Dr. Saunders reveal was actually somewhat decent, or do you feel like it was just underwhelming? Leave all your thoughts down below, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again, the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.